Brussels could slap Poland with huge financial penalties as the country faces two looming deadlines to explain its breaches of EU rules, but has been branded ridiculous for failing to act sooner. Warsaw faces yet another European Commission deadline in its years long battle with Eurocrats over the perceived rule of law. The EU argues Poland's post communist reform system undermines the country's judicial independence. The European Court of Justice has already immediately ordered Warsaw to halt work on a new disciplinary chamber for its Supreme Court judges that was deemed illegal by the Luxembourg-based court. EU Justice Chief Didier Reinders is poised to trigger financial sanctions against Poland if it doesn't comply with the rulings. Last month Ursula von der Leyen's College of Commissioners agreed last that Warsaw could be punished, so they wouldn't have to interrupt their summer holidays. But Brussels is expected to revisit any decision in September after Poland signaled it could climb down by reforming its disciplinary chamber. We have to see how they will reform it, a senior EU official told the Politico website. There are also questions hanging over the distribution of some £50 billion to Poland from the EU's coronavirus recovery fund. However, there is little hope in the EU's ability to act to bring Poland back under heel. Igor Chuleya, a judge who fell victim to the disciplinary chamber, said, Europe should, of course, act more decisively and much more quickly. Quote. The whole world has known about what was happening to Poland's judicial system for nearly six years and done nothing about it, and the European Commission's actions have been just ridiculous. Mr. Chuleya is no longer allowed to sit on the bench at his Warsaw District Court after being punished by the chamber. He is critical of Poland's ruling law and justice party and has accused the anti-Brussels group of robbing judges of their independence. Marek Korda, a former Polish ambassador to the EU, said, This isn't about how Poland organizes an independent judiciary but rather if such a thing even exists anymore.